Hello, students now follow me to learn matting together. In the course of the last class, we introduced you to the matting method of quick selection tools. The edges of the graphics picked by this method are not very accurate. Or if the requirements are not high, we can use this method to matting. Today, I will introduce you to how to mat objects with such fine hair. Look at this picture. The petals are very thin. This hair is very thin. When we dig out this kind of graphics, you can use PS's extract filter or adjust edge or channel formatting. Extraction filter is very easy to use. It is also one of my favorite tools. But after the CS3 version, this tool is gone. Instead, use this to adjust the edge. This extraction filter has been available in CS3 and previous versions. Because I'm used to it. And feel very easy to use. Therefore, I would like to introduce you to use the extraction filter to pick hair. For beginners, this tool is very easy to use. Now switch to the CS3 version. There is an extraction filter in the filters. We choose Extraction Filter. This is the Extraction Panel. The Extraction Filter has two usage methods. Let's introduce the first one. Select Edge Highlight. Surround the edge of the region to be extracted. We hold down the left mouse button and drag the size of this brush on the right or press the left and right brackets. You can zoom it in and out. Then the edge extracted by the edge highlight. Is that you are using this green color now? To draw the width of this edge. Extract it according to this width. Therefore, the size of the brush will affect the extraction result. And when smearing. Is the green edge a little outside or a little inside? Will also affect the final extraction results. So you can try it. Enlarge the brush a little and try it again. When smearing, go in a little, or lean out a little. Let's all give it a try. See how the results will be different. Okay, then select this fill tool. Fill the inside of this range. It's done. Click OK. Then it will be dug out. Very fast. To see the final effect. We create a new layer in the layers palette. Fill the foreground color. Select a color. Click OK to fill in the foreground color. Press Alt plus Delete key. Fill this foreground color on top of this layer. Then put the patterned layer on it. Hold down the left mouse button and drag it. You can see that the extraction effect is still good. Like there are some unwanted things here. We can zoom in on this image. Wipe it off with the eraser. Like here, you can press the medium to the left to reduce the brush a little. Wipe off something you don't want with the eraser. Then the effect is still good. So you can see that the extraction speed is very fast. And the effect is good. This is done using the first method, Extraction Filter. Okay, let's take a look at this image. Can it be realized by the first method just now? We go into the Extraction Panel. Surround its edge with the Edge Highlight. Let's only extract the headline of the character here. Select Fill. Click OK. Add a background to it to set it off. See how the extraction works. It can be seen that the extraction effect is not as good as we thought. There are many white backgrounds between the gaps in hair. Can't achieve the effect we want. So we need to try the second method. 
The second method is to use the color extraction in the extraction filter. There are many colors of hair here. Then we will extract a few times. One color is extracted once. So let's copy a few more layers. Drag it onto this new layer. Copy one for each drag. Let's hide the following layers. Select the top layer to extract. Then the second method is to use color to extract. First, choose a color. Select forced foreground on the right choose a color here. But this color is not easy to choose. So here we use this straw to choose colors. For example, first extract this brown color. This brown color. After choosing the color the second step is to use the edge highlight to paint the area we want to extract. Cover it all by green. It is not to surround its edge, but to smear the whole area to be extracted. It doesn't matter if you paint it out here. Because this brown color is extracted now. It doesn't matter if there are some brown places like these. Because of these, we have to extract it out later. Cover it, so it doesn't matter if you extract it. OK, click OK. Let's do the same thing, add a background color to see. As you can see, the black is now extracted. His background is completely gone. It looks more beautiful. It's not enough to extract a color. Because this hair has many colors. Let's bring up this background. Extract again. The same approach or select force foreground color first. Suck in the color let's smoke this slightly lighter brown. OK, then paint it. You can enlarge the brush a little to paint it. This can be painted with confidence. Because many patterns don't have this color in them. And it doesn't matter if the middle face is painted. Because we still have to choose it later and cover it up. Select OK. This place is a little white. It means that it was not painted well just now. It doesn't matter, we can polish this little bit with the eraser. This is the second floor then, the last layer should be used to extract pure black. We choose to draw out. Use force foreground color at this time let's suck, suck this black one. Actually, it's a little blue. Use edge highlights to paint the area we want to extract. Cover it all. Click OK. Look, eyebrows have extract out a little. It doesn't matter. We have to choose the face later. Cover this avatar. Now the hair is basically extracted. And without this white background. Now let's dig out this character. Then let's choose this character. Choose the face and body of this character. We are here to speed up. Let's use the quick selection tool introduced to you last class to try it out. The edge selected by the tool in quick select has many jagged edges. Not very good. Because we haven't told you about accurate digging yet. Let's make a general choice first. Then this hair must not work here. It needs to be cut off. Edge can't be selected. Face can be selected. As long as you don't touch the background, you can. Use this circle and add a little hair. Just don't touch the edge. Let's just cover this hair.
As long as you don't touch the hair on the edge, you can. All right. And now. Press Ctrl plus G to copy the selection to a new layer. Look copy a new layer. Let's put this layer on top of it. Open the hair. The background layer is also open. Look, the edge of it is not very good looking. There are a lot of serrations, because we didn't choose well. Of course I have a way press Ctrl L and click on the selection. Let's shrink it a little. Modify and shrink 2 pixels. Shrink inside and then reverse select. Press the delete key to delete the outer edge. Select cancel selection. There will be no more but the serrations are still obvious. Therefore, the graphic edges selected by the quick selection tool are not very good. If you want to be very precise, you will use the pen tool that we will introduce to you in the next class. Okay, this is what we introduced to you in today's class. Use an extraction filter to extract out objects such as hair. The effect is relatively good. Let's sum up. What I introduced to you today is mainly to use the extraction filter to select. There is a shortcut used here. Is to copy the contents of the selection to the new layer, Ctrl plus J. Today, I will give you a small assignment. Open the kitten picture in the material. Extract out this kitten. Because cats have hair on the edges and beards. Let's give it a try with the extraction tools we learned today. Thank you for watching. I hope everyone will have a wonderful day.